Hey, so I wanted to do a little blogging on my kitchen refinishing that we are going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. And our kitchen right now is, if you look behind me, is this oak color. <laughs> and our kitchen wall is also this baby blue, which you can see up here, which isn't isn't too bad but I wanted to match the rest of the house because we just repainted our house like a year ago and um, it's like a light gray color so it doesn't kind of go with the rest of the house so here is a quick overview of how our kitchen looks like it's all oak and our counters and floorings the colors are a bit similar but the tile we have like tile uh, countertop which I kind of don't mind having Maybe in the future we will change it to um, granite, but in the meantime, I like it. It's not bad. And uh, we're going to be repainting, oh, it's going to be a long process. We're going to be repainting all the kitchen cabinets to a white, and then we're going to do the walls like a darker gray just so they contrast and they look um, nicer together. Let me go ahead and show you guys the items that we're going to be using so far. So I got these face masks protective mask it was like two dollars and fifty cents at um, Home Depot just because I am currently pregnant and I don't want any smell I need to bother with the baby or so I did get some latex gloves these are the 10 pair value pack I think these are reusable yeah they say reusable they were like ten dollars I think I think they were like ten dollars so yeah I'm gonna be using that because my nails I like to get them done and I don't want to ruin them and then we are also got this shear resistant woven semi smooth to semi rough surface six inch times one half inch um, roller which comes in the little set like this there's two of them together and I forgot that we have extra ones at home right from previous painting so I guess that's just extras I will be using these ones also this is the all let me see all purpose knit good coverage roller light um, refillable ones that I'm going to be using for these rollers and then I got like a baby extra one and then I'm going to be using these little paintbrush they're only like 99 cents a piece but to get like corners and they're like disposable so got that extra brushes if I need to use them and I'm going to be taping the what is it the walls with the front tape multi-surface uh, tape and we like this I like this kind I haven't I've never used the blue one before, but I really like it. This also, this comes in a lid that if you're not finished using it, you can seal it up and reuse it so the tape doesn't dry up. I've got some old ruler to use for the paint. The paint that I'm going to be using is actually going to be by Glennon Dole. This is a paint and primer in one premium interior paint. Let me see if you get a good look at that. The color that we're going to be painting our kitchen wall in will be, it's like this dark gray color, which is in the color, it's in driftwood, driftwood gray and eggshell. I want to send my gloss, but then I was like, um, I think eggshell should be fine because, um, we don't really touch the walls in the kitchen anyways. So yeah, that is the color again. And we were supposed to get the bear brand. But then I forgot to tell them that we're getting that brand. And I chose this color and the Glidden brand without realizing it. So I think it should be fine. This would be my first time using Glidden brand paint. So hopefully it's just as good as the Bear brand. And I have used the Bear brand before. And um, it is really nice and I like it a lot. So right now that I've shown you guys all the stuff we're going to be using for this project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off and start taping off the wall so I can start painting this tonight and right now it's like 10 o'clock p.m. at night but we just got all the stuff in and I want to get it all done tonight so tomorrow we can start doing all the kitchen cabinets. So we are recording with my iPhone, so the quality may not be as great like my regular Canyon 5, but I think it's doable. Mm. Uh, 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 Lila, do you want to help mommy? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Myla just had dinner. She had oatmeal. Mm, oatmeal. So right now Taylor is actually trying to tape and put some. What is this, honey? What's this called? Wrapping stuff. I don't know. Floor coverings. So I guess we'll call it that. To cover our tiles so that no paint or anything gets on it. And I started taping the walls. I got halfway up there. I'm going to use this ladder right here to do the rest of the job. Lila's testing it first to see if it slides. <laughs> Tay is taping the top part since I, I can't there, reach it. Taping. And <laughs> I was actually going to climb this ladder and do it myself, but since I'm pregnant, yeah, I'm having him do it, do it just in case I fall. But I might paint it myself because I am a little bit obsessed with painting. Oh my gosh! So smart! So smart! Oh yeah, so Taylor just finished taping this whole floor off. Hey you guys! Good afternoon! So I woke up kinda late today but I'm about to get started on um, painting the walls today. This is the second day and if you look around, uh, Taylor just finished doing all of the um, tape around the house and everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the paint again. I'm using linen dulled paint right here and I'm just gonna be pouring this into this metal paint container. Uh, this is like an old one. The paint has dried off from previous um, usage of this. So this is the third day on this project renovation of our kitchen and we just finished painting the walls. It's a tad a bit darker. It's probably the darkest color um, in the house right now in the living room but because all the kitchen cabinets going to be uh, white I thought it might uh, work instead of everything just being super white so far we've taken all uh, most of the cabinets um, cabinet doors off and there's just a couple of them left down here um, that Taylor hasn't gotten a chance to take off because Lila's gonna get into every cabinet and pull out everything so now we're just working on these for now what I've done so far is I've laid them out here and they're dry by now because it's been like a day now but then uh, I've been deglossing and cleaning them with TSP For those of you who don't know what that is that is actually a cleaning solution right over here this is what I'm using this is how it looks like TSP trisodium phosphate heavy duty cleaner you're supposed to use before painting I just did a light scruffing using this and I poured about half uh, less than half of a cup actually. Um, the back of the direction can give you more directions on um, how to use this product. But I pour in this measuring cup and I just use a regular, um, this is not even like a gallon, this is like six quarts I think. And I use about half uh, of hot water. Pour about half, yeah. I think a little more than half I think I did with this um, container. And then I just pour the TSP in it and make sure that you use gloves because this stuff is, I believe me, it might be stronger um, since it up on your skin. And I use that to scrub basically the top and the bottom of all this to get the grease out and degloss this and clean it spotless. I've also pretty much deglossed all this part underneath, on the side and everything. And um, like I said again, I just missing, I just have to do like these right here, pretty much these, and just like that one right there, and the island right here that I didn't get a chance to do, but everything else, like the side here, I've already degloss and everything. Next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to use some of this HDX tack cloth, and this is the, um, it's like a three pack one that I got, 100% cotton, and it's supposed to remove dust and fine particles before between finished coats. I'm going to use this and wipe because I already cleaned this with TSP and let it dry overnight and um, when you touch it you can still feel like dust on it. So I'm going to use this and just wipe the whole top off of all of these cabinets and then I'm going to go ahead and use um, let me see, let me show you guys 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this primer. This is called the Styx Waterborne Bonding Primer. This was recommended by one of the guys at Orchards. He said that this stuff works amazing and you're supposed to just coat this with this primer and it will give you a nice smooth finish without having to, um, what is it, use, um, because originally what I was going to do was use some kind of uh, product that was going to cover up all of the um, oak that's going to be seeping through because I know that if you just paint it over this the oak you can still see the oak and I wanted a smooth finish so then um, this stuff is supposed to seal it pretty well so that when you paint you cannot see the lines or the um, oak lines so hopefully it turns out good like what he says I'm also going to be using this brush right here and this brush is the Benjamin Moore nylon polyester kind. It is the latex, meant for latex. It's two and a half inch. Um, oh, here's the, here's the right side. Soft nylon polyester, two and a half inch uh, for use of water-based coating. I'm going to be using this brush to prime all the boards with this primer. And I'm also going to be using the same brush to paint the cabinets or like the trimmings and everything else. Hey guys, so I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with our kitchen. We've been kind of lagging and it's been like over, gosh, a couple of weeks already now. But it's just we've been working and just too much stuff going on. But let me show you guys what we've been doing so far with our kitchen. Here is an overview of how it looks like right now in this condition. All the cabinets are currently gone. We have like so much mess going on right now. But I just finished... Well, we just finished priming the kitchen cabinets like last week and let it dry. And I finally got the time to um actually go over the walls, I mean, the cabinets and everything um by sanding it with the sandpaper. Here is a closer look of how it looks like with just the primer right now. And you can see there's like lines. It's not looking nice right now. But hopefully once the um paint goes on, it will look a lot better. This is just the primer again, you guys. I did double coat on a few, like the front part, like around right there, right there, and especially like near like the stove around this area. I double primed this and um, I also sand every corner and everything also, including the island I just finished today. And the sandpaper that I use is actually this one right here this is the let's see the 3m pro gray advanced sandpaper no slip grip packing this is a 320 very fine it comes in a big sheet like this and there's like oh i guess there's three sheets in it and all i did was i just cut it up into long strips like this and then i cut it up again to like squares fold it up and just Use that to basically do a light sanding of everything just to make everything smooth. Even though the uh, primer that I use says that you don't really need to um, sand after. I just want to just to be on the safe side. Next thing that um, I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to start doing the first layer of painting the cabinets. All of the doors, they're all in the garage right now. Sitting there getting ready to be spray painted. But then for the rest of the stuff in here, I'm going to be hand painting them and using brush rollers for it so also. today I'm going to be doing the first coat of paint on our kitchen cabinets and uh, this is how it kind of looks like right now like that and all the white that you see they're just the primer and the paint that I am currently going to be using is Benjamin Moore's advanced paint here is a view of the Benjamin more advanced paint. This is waterborne interior ag guide. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's um, excellent leveling, extended open time, and I got this in the satin finish. I just got one gallon. Hopefully, it's enough for all of my kitchen cabinets. And the color that I am going to be using is actually I got this at Orchard Supplies. It is in White Dove number OC17. Well here is the brush that I've been using to prime the kitchen cabinets and this is also going to be the same brush that I'm going to be using to paint the kitchen cabinets. I'm also going to be using just a roller to roll out the, um, 
the brush strokes so that it will be smooth and there will be no brush stroke. Um, see how this turns out. This is actually just like a foam roller. It doesn't have any lint or no fabric on it at all. Taylor here, he is working on, since I just finished sanding the cabinets, he is actually going over it with a tack cloth to remove all of the dust that can start painting the kitchen cabinets. So we have finished painting all of the cabinets and we um, had, I had Taylor put them all back in and this is how it looks like. Don't mind the kitchen, it's kind of messy. We just did some Halloween party last week or so, but then um, yeah, this is the overall look and I really like it. It's made my kitchen super bright and more modern looking. I thought that the walls are going to be too gray. Actually, it works really well because the cabinets are super light. So let me take you guys up for a closer look. This, uh, Taylor installed these back in, but he made them super loose because we're going to drill a hole that's going to go completely right in the middle right there to the inside, and then we're going to put the knobs. So all of these pullouts are going to have knobs. And actually, no, they're going to have like the handles that comes out like this. And then these ones, these doors will have the actual, um, let me just do that safety thing out. These are going to have the actual knobs, the circle knobs that will just pull out. This is like the back side of it. And then this is the front side of it. It doesn't look too bad, especially for us being first timer and doing kitchen cabinets. What we actually first did was we actually prime coated all of the kitchen cabinets like you guys have seen before and I actually went over and I had to sand all of these cabinets and all of these basically all the cabinets and everything and then I tack cloth all of them and then I was done we I did a second coat of primer on these again and then I lightly sanded them again for the doors and everything we took them all out to the garage and Taylor had to prime them all and then once it dry what what he did was he did the first coat of paint on this and he did it kind of thick just because of the um the spray paint that we use it comes out kind of thick but actually it kind of worked out well and then once it dried I had him sand or actually I we both sanded the first coat to make sure there was like no little specks here and there and once it was done, then Taylor did a second coat of uh, paint on all of these cabinets and let them dry. We finally put them back in because we had like a party last week or we'd ha I would have just told him to leave them there until we put all the hardware in. This was actually where all of the door doorknobs was actually in that Taylor painted them over. And we didn't do anything special. We didn't set it on any two by fours or anything. It's just flat on the garage with paper. What do you call these? Just regular, a big roll sheet of paper we got at Home Depot. And he just rolled it across, set all of the doors on, and just use like bottles of waters and stuff to get the corners and everything. Spray paint that we actually use, I got this off of Amazon. I did quite some re research before I actually bought this one because this one is supposed to work with latex uh, paint. This was the Erlex Spray Station Precision Paint. It um, gives you maximum control. Taylor's it was really easy to use. Um, it uses HVLP technology. No thinning. Three pattern system. You, there's like knobs that you can switch. There's three different switches you can do use. Thumb control, paint flow, and quad vortex. And you can you use this with uh, latex stains, enamels, varnishes, oils, shellacs, urethanes, lacquers, and sealers. 1.5 quart. God, I think this was $140 I got on Amazon. I actually seen someone use this on YouTube and I really like it because um, I guess since you don't, it doesn't require thinning, I thought it would work because I didn't want to use any kind of thinning liquid on the paint that we were using because I don't want to take it away from its um, quality. Over here, don't mind the messiness, sitting on wipes, baby wipes, and it's collected dust ready. It's been here for a week now. So yeah, this is how it looks like and it's, ooh, it's quite heavy, but you don't carry this actually, it just sits. And then um, I don't even know how to work this because Taylor worked this comes with a wire you just plug into the the wall and it's got this long tube I believe this is gosh 13 feet long maybe if I'm correct 
We still have actually maybe about, God, it feels pretty light. I think there's probably about like this much left. About that much left in there. But since it came, the paint came out pretty thick, which was actually fine, uh, we had to go and buy another bought a gallon of Benjamin Moore paint because it ran out. I thought one was going to be enough, but I guess one wasn't. We went to Home Depot last week and we got 24 of these little babies. And this is the 1 and 1 fourth inch circus knobs, satin nickel. Yeah, so we got a bunch of these. I think we got 24 of these. And they are just the, they're the heavyweight ones. They're not hollow and they look just like that. So they each come with two screws inside and a whole bunch of these babies and I think one of these was like $2.80 I believe. And then we got a bunch of these, I think there's 12 of these and these are going to be the handles that I chose out and they're just going to go right in like this and you can pull them out like that. And I think these were like almost $4 for one which is kind of pricey too but they're really good quality. I really like them. And then I have, we also picked up a couple of these. These are cabinet doors. These are like, I guess like little rulers to mark the holes in. So it would be a lot easier and everything would be aligned. Got that one. That's for like the doorknobs. And then we also got the other one. This is the, for the cabinet drawer, drawers. So to center everything and align them so everything would match together. Got that baby. We also got a bunch of these um, door bumpers. Got one, two, three. Total of four of these door bumpers. And if you're wondering how much they cost, well, let's see how much they did cost. Um, oh, each of these templates cost three ninety seven, so they were four bucks a piece. Four bucks a piece, and these door bumpers were actually. Oh, 287 and we bought a total of four of these. Overall, this whole thing that we got was about $120 for everything, not including tax. So, um, hopefully they turned out good because they were kind of pricey. This is practically an overview of the finished results. So, you can see the gray looks really nice now that the white is in. Here is... Uh, the cabinets and the hardware put in and everything so if you take a close look at this um, obviously you can see right there we didn't buy what do you call it the little I don't know what you call it but they say to cover it at first and then paint over it so if we had bought that it would have looked a lot nicer but we didn't we were kind of in a rush and uh, Taylor didn't actually sand some of these spots out so these were from the drips from the first coat of paint, which I was really anal about him telling him about that. But these are only like really minor parts. Um, only a couple of them were here and there. And if you take a close look, you can see that there is still a little bit of grain kind of slightly showing through. It's not completely like flat, but um, it's not too bad. I really like the outcome of it. The hardware we chose. White Dove, as you can look comparing it to just the appliances, a big difference. It makes it look kind of... It, it looks like it's yellow compared to the appliances, but it actually looks really nice in person. Here is another view of the island, which I really like. It's a lot of hard work, you guys. And then that, and I bought a lot of decor up there. I really love the outcome of this. We save a lot of money. I was afraid that the island or the uh, countertop that we live on and also the tiles it wasn't gonna match with the white and the dark gray but overall everything kind of just work and kind of goes together mm -hmm.